Hey guys, Alex Hamilton, U-Rise Education. Right now we're standing outside the Chambers Building at Davidson College in Davidson, North Carolina. And we're gonna show you all around the beautiful campus we have for you. On the edge of Davidson's Main Street is the Old Quad, where on the north side you can get a glimpse of Eumenine and Philanthropic Halls, named for the college's first student societies. Walk east and you'll see the Davidson College Presbyterian Church, which exemplifies the religious heritage of the town. Further east, you'll see the Watson Life Science Building, part of the Baker Watt Science Complex. Taylor Tallman Hall is home to the Sloan Music Center, while on the west side of the quad is the Administrative Chambers Building, which is where we started our tour. As you walk outside of Chambers and face north, you'll see Dormitory Row. Behind Chambers is the Sculpture Garden, which connects to the Wall Academic Center and the E.H. Little Library. The science labs on the inside of the Wall Academic Center and these sculptures lying all throughout the outside really represent the student creativity that characterizes Davidson. Behind the library is Richardson Stadium. The Wildcats play Division I sports, and at Richardson, you'll find the football, lacrosse, and track and field teams competing. North of the dorms, you'll find Vale Commons, the largest eatery on campus. On the eastern edge of campus is the Baker Sports Complex. There, Belk Arena hosts the Wildcat basketball team and includes an exhibit of the famous players who have made it to the NBA, including, of course, Stephen Curry. Outside, you'll find the tennis courts where you can pass the time in the North Carolina sunshine. However, if you're looking for more to do, Main Street contains many restaurants and shops that you can check out. Of course, this includes the Davidson Campus Store, where you can get whatever you need to show your wildcat pride. As you can see, there's a lot going on on campus at Davidson, so don't let the small school size fool you. Last year, Davidson College received over 6,000 applications for its incoming class, which only contains enough spots for about 10% of that number. That means that along with Davidson's 20% acceptance rate, it brings a nearly 50% yield. Now, as a liberal arts college, Davidson is especially interested in the person behind the application. This makes the essay portion especially important in standing out in the application. There are two essays that you're going to be writing in your application to Davidson College. Here's the first. The key to this Why Davidson College essay is to focus on the academic and extracurricular opportunities at Davidson and connect those to your interests. Academically, in addition to the rigor that the Davidson curriculum brings, you could talk about the professors there who genuinely care not only about the research, but about the learning process for their students. This makes Davidson a premier opportunity for students who really want to have a true undergraduate learning experience in the liberal arts. 
However, that isn't to say that there aren't opportunities for students who are more inclined to the STEM subjects. Davidson offers cooperative programs with Wash U and St. Louis, as well as Columbia University for students who are interested in engineering. Davidson also has a partnership with Duke University for students who are interested in immunology research. Now outside of the classroom, as you may have guessed by seeing Davidson Athletics, the college offers a lot of extracurricular opportunities. There are around 200 student clubs, which is pretty exciting for a school that only has around 2,000 students overall, and it brings a great diversity of interest to campus. Speaking of diversity, despite its small size, 7% of Davidson College students are international. Furthermore, a large portion of Davidson College students take part in their international and study abroad programs. So for those who are interested in learning outside of traditional college settings, Davidson's the place for you. One other thing that you can definitely highlight in this essay is Davidson's honor code, which influences how students on campus act inside and outside of the classroom. In their honor code, Davidson encourages students to not only be exceptional scholars, but great citizens as well. At the college, you have a two-way relationship between students and the community around them that is forged on trust. Students prioritize the learning process itself rather than doing whatever is needed in order to get a good grade. At the same time, you'll hear that many students don't even lock their dorm doors on campus because they have so much trust in their peers in the community. So when it comes to the Why Davidson prompt, no essay is complete without mentioning the honor code. There's also a second prompt for Davidson College and that focuses on you as a prospective student. Here it is. As you can see, this prompt is quite flexible. You can recycle an activity or community essay from another school prompt, or you can insert content if you've written anything on your favorite book or your favorite movie. Of course, you could also talk about things from an academic perspective and use this to talk about your perspective major. The nice thing is, whatever you choose to talk about, you can connect it to Davidson's resources inside and outside of the classroom. In other words, we can include some of the aspects from the Why Davidson essay that you might not have had space to insert in the previous prompt. Then in this essay, once you've covered what your interest is and why it interests you, you can connect it to how Davidson College as a resource will allow you to pursue that interest more thoroughly. And there you have it. So everyone, please like and subscribe if you haven't already for more in-depth dives into colleges as well as exploration into the application process. Also, let me know down in the comments what kinds of other content you'd like to see, and please take a look at some of the other videos on different colleges that might interest you. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.